Welcome friends to the sixth part of this series on how to create a chat app in Flutterflow and Superbase. So in this video, we'll be creating this edit profile page where the user will be able to change their profile image, change their phone number, change their name, as well as change their bio. So let's get right on to creating this edit profile page. I'm currently in my Flutterflow dashboard and since the edit profile page is extremely similar to our setup page, we can just click on our setup page, right click, and we can duplicate this setup page. And let's just change the name of this page over here. So we'll just change it to edit profile page. And let's remove this text over here. And now we can just add an app bar to our edit profile page. So we just add a child widget to the edit profile page. You can search for app bar. And we just add an app bar over here. We can also change the style of the app bar from here. For this pro edit profile, we'll change it to perhaps this one. And we want that back button so that we can navigate back to our previous page. Let's just change the page title. to edit profile. And for the icon button over here, we go to action flow editor and instead of navigate back, we'll just search for navigate. And we want to navigate to the profile page. So we can go to this column and let's just remove this top padding over here. Since now that we have an app bar. Okay, so now what we want is that whenever we navigate to the edit profile page, we want whatever was in the previous page, the profile page, for example, the user's previous image, the user's previous name and bio, whatever was the user's previous data to be reflected in the edit profile page as well. So what we can do is that we pass some information from the profile page to the edit profile page. And to do that, we have to create some page parameters. So we can create some page parameters. Firstly, it will be the image path. And for this, it will be of type image path. And we also add some more parameters. The second parameter will be the phone number. This will be of type int add some more parameters. Next is the name. This will be of type string. And finally would be the bio. And this will also be of type string. So we can confirm. And now we can go to our profile page. And whenever we press this edit profile button, we want to change the action over here. So create a new action and we want to select navigate to the edit profile page. And now you can see that we can pass some parameters. So we can pass the image path over here. It will be the user data row and profile image path. We can pass some more parameters, the phone number. For the value of the phone number, it will also be user data row and phone number. And we can continue passing the name. as well as the bio. So we can go back to our edit profile page now. And now we can set the initial value as our page parameters. So with the circle image selected, instead of this uploaded file URL for the image path, we can change this we can go to conditional value and we can set a condition. So we can set the condition of if the uploaded file URL is a set and not empty. That means if the user has recently uploaded an image, then if the user has uploaded an image, we will set the image path as the uploaded file URL. 
If not, if the user has not yet uploaded an image, we'll set it as the image page variable that we have just passed in. Then we can type, we can click on confirm. And for the form number text field, we can set the initial var the initial value to be the phone number that we just passed in, default variable of zero. And we can do the same thing for the name text field as well as the bio text field. So set the initial value to be the name. And for this bio, we'll set the initial value to be the bio. And one more thing, to get rid of this error, which says that the name for upload data action on circle image is not unique, we have to go to the circle image and we have to go back to our action flow editor. And we can just change this name to upload data to a unique name. So now, as you can see, once we have changed the upload data name, the error is gone. Last but not least, we'll go to the confirm button and we'll change the action. So now instead of inserting a row, we want to search for super base and now we want to update the row, not insert the row. And under matching rows, we want to add a filter. For this row, we want to filter and search for the row where the UID is equal to our authenticated users UID. So we only want to change our users data. And as for setting the fields, we want to remove this UID field since we are not changing the UID. And as for the phone number, name, bio and profile image fields, it's already linked to the correct ones. The phone number text field, the name text field, the bio text field, as well as the uploaded file URL. Since we duplicated the page, so it's already automatically linked together. And one last thing, we don't want to navigate back to the home page. Instead, we want to navigate back to our profile page. So navigate to our profile page. And that should be it for our edit profile page. So now we can try testing it out. All right, so Tesma has just loaded up and we can try editing our profile. You can see that all the previous information that we added is now included over here. We can try editing our profile picture. Let's just choose this Apple icon. You can see that now it's uploaded there. We can try changing our phone number as well. And let's just try changing our name. And we can also change our bio. We can click on confirm. And now you can see that when we are brought back to our profile page, and you can see our profile image, our name, as well as our bio has been successfully updated. We can also check our super base, check our user data table, and you can see that it has been successfully updated here as well. So, Thank you for watching. That's it for today's video. And in the next video, we will be working on our home page, our chat home page over here. So stay tuned for that video and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.